Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make rosettes so you can turn them into these prize ribbons. Aren't these the cutest? And wait till the end because I did something else with the rosettes that you're just gonna love. For example, today I'm gonna to be using our Best Dad um, set of printables. And here I have all my printouts. These are my patterns. This is for the rosette part and the little ribbon hanging down. This is for the front of the center of the rosette. And this one is actually for the back. And you're gonna need this because it's gonna hold your whole rosette together. The first thing we're gonna do is start cutting things out. Now I have all of my pieces cut out. These are my pattern sheets, the front and the back of my rosette. So the next thing you need to do is decide which one you're gonna use for the rosette part and which one you're gonna use for the little uh, ribbon dangle things. I like to usually use the solid as my rosette and I like to use the pattern as my uh, dangle because I just see more of the pattern and it doesn't skew it as much. So we're gonna fold this one first to make our rosette. Since we're doing the three inch circle, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our strips for the rosette into two and a half inches wide to start. So let's just cut a bunch of these strips, two and a half inches wide. And you wanna go the long way, cut it this way. Don't cut it this way, so you get a lot of short strips. Cut it the long way. I got three two and a half inch wide strips out of one sheet of paper and I'm going to go ahead and do the rosette with just these three strips so you can see what it looks like if you decide just to do that. You can add more strips. I wouldn't advise adding any less than three, but let me show you what that was going to look like. You do not have to have this supply. Basically what this is, is allows you to get very even, um, places where you can make fold lines. I absolutely love it. I found it on clearance one time. You can just measure your first one out, do it by hand, It it's not a big deal. But since I have it and I love to play with it, I'm gonna do that. We want every half inch to be our, our score line. So if I measure over half an inch here, so yeah, see how that just scores it? I, a bone folder is really helpful, I will say that. So you just wanna go through and do each, every half inch. If you want to get one of these, I'm gonna put a link to this. Um, like I said, if you do a lot of paper folding, which we do here at Chicken Joe, it is uh, an invaluable tool to have just to give you those nice, even fold lines. Um, but again, not necessary. So let me fold this one up. So see that gave me those nice crease lines and it's super easy just to keep folding. So there you have it. That's our first one. If you do not have that fancy little um, folding tool, that's no big deal. You can just mark half an inch on your paper. I'm doing it with my scoring tool, but if you don't have this, just do it with a um, pencil. And then you can't see it, but I can where it is. And then you just do it like this. It's really not a big deal. Now we have our three strips and we're going to want to attach them together to make one long strip. I like to overlap it just to make it a little more secure. So you can use double-sided tape, you can use glue, whatever you want. I'm just gonna run a little line down here and this edge has a little bit of white on it. So I'm gonna cut that off just to make sure you don't see it. And then I'm gonna add it there. Now we have one really long piece. We're going to go onto one end and we're gonna put our glue 
and we're going to bring this over and attach it there. Look at what happens. Okay, here's where you decide whether you have enough folds in there. So if you pull it together, and if this is thick enough for you, then you have plenty. So three strips really does, in my opinion, make it fine. So what I like to do at this point is I take a little bit of packing tape, you can lose glue or whatever you want, and I go ahead, since it's the back of it, I put a little tape there just to hold this together. There we go. So this isn't the only thing that's gonna hold this together. We're gonna add our back circle onto the back here with a little bit of glue. Here's where this little circle we cut out at the beginning is gonna come in really, really handy. We're gonna just add some hot glue here. Like that. Make sure our form is how we want it to be. And we're gonna plop that right down there and hold it until our hot glue dries. Then you flip it over and you got your little rosette. Isn't that cute? The real cute factor is hot glue again. We're gonna center this best dad ever right in the middle. I'm gonna hold it down. Look at how cute that is. To make this into a ribbon that dad can wear proudly on Father's Day, we do need some little tails. So I'm going to trim my pattern sheet into two, two and a half strips. Okay, so you can see how that's gonna end up looking. You can make these thicker if you like, or thinner. At this point, you can also decide about how long you want them. So I usually like to uh, make them fairly long, but before we attach them and cut them out, I am going to make a little notch here at the end, give them that ribbon look. So if you just fold one tip to the other, but don't crease it, just kind of fold it and hold it there, then take your scissors and cut at an angle from that corner up. Then you'll get that really nice V in there. And then you can take your other one, the same thing, and cut. So now I have two that match. So let's attach them to our rosette. You can use your hot glue if you still have it. You can use your little, um, I'm just gonna use my glue dot holder here. Make sure I have that angle where I want it. And there we go. Isn't it adorable? I just love how these turn out. I, they surprise me every time, it's like magic. But once you learn how to make the basic rosette, there's so many different things you can do with it. Let me show you a few other examples we have. <laughs> same rosette technique to make this Disney villain wreath. Look at how cute all those are. I just printed pictures that I found on the internet, backed them with one color, put them all together with a little bit of this mesh behind it. I think it makes the cutest wreath. Mm -hmm.